Hello YouTube, this is Moot, and welcome to episode 2 of our Worm Online, Worm Unlimited tutorial series. In this video, we're going to learn how to cut down trees. So the first off we're going to do is drag and drop the hatchet into our tool belt so we can highlight. We can click it or push F1 to highlight, and let's find some trees. I want to put my house close to this little mm, mountain rock so I can have a a entrance into my mine cave so I want to cut down this tree so with my hatchet activated I can either double click it here I can activate in the tool belt I'm going to go ahead and click on the chestnut tree tile and it brings up the myriad of options okay and I'm going ahead and cut down in addition I could right click on it and cut down here and the more actions I do the more it fills my queue and my queue right now only has three I can only do three actions but as my mind logic gets higher I can queue more so for every 10 in mind logic you get one action that you can queue plus one additional one for starting off so right now I have 19 uh, that's one two so for ten and then for the teens for the ones and the teens and then plus one for my uh, starting off so we're cutting down this tree we're cutting it down and we cut it down that's cool we fell the tree but you have this big honking tree trunk in your way you know or you can't pick it up it's too heavy so for a right click and try to take it's too heavy so I need to make it smaller into logs. Well, that's pretty simple, right? You click on it, okay, or right click on it, and you say chop it up. We're going to chop it up into smaller logs. In addition, you can go down here and click up, click the chop up icon. Let's go ahead and put a ton of that in there. Now, every action I do, you can see here, my hatchet skill has increased my body strength has increased and I really want my wood cutting to increase and it has to 2.74 the higher wood cutting means the higher quality of trees I chop down so we're chopping it up mostly because I don't like this big old failed tree in my vision every time I make an action or every time I chop it up logs fall and if you get enough logs then you create a log pile. You can access this log pile by clicking it, okay, and clicking the open shortcut, or you can also right click and choose open. And here you can go ahead and drag these logs into your inventory, and that will be used for crafting that we'll do later on. So it looks like I cut down that tree. Let's cut down another one so we can learn what to do. So we're going to go ahead and highlight it or right click on it and cut down. Now one thing I want to show you is if you examine the tree, okay, right click examine, it just tells you the type of tree it is, over age chestnut tree. And age matters on how hard the tree is or how difficult it is to cut down and then how much you can actually take from the tree with pruning or trying to find a sprout. Now I just did one action of cutting down the tree. If I examine it again, it will tell me that the tree took 16 damage. Now, this is an overage tree, which means it's more hardy towards damage, so we're going to have to do much more um, more actions in order to cut it down. We have this dinky little hatchet that's quality 10, okay, and already has 0.64 damage. The higher quality tool you have, the more damage you'll do. So, damage 16, 31. Okay, here we go. We're just going to keep on cutting down this tree. And you can tell my stamina is going down. And watch how, as my action timer will increase. Now it's at 27 seconds at half stamina. However, my skill gains, you get more skill gains the longer your action timer is. For example, at a 27 timer, we'll see what 
well, for whatever 20 it was for the previous one, I got 0 0.01 body, 0 0.001 body stamina. Let's let that free fill. There you go. And let's queue up three more. 14. So at 27 second action timer, the wood cutting gain was 0 0.2. At 14 or 15, what it was? Oh, it doesn't even show me my. I didn't get a wood cutting skill tick that time. I got a body strength, but you can tell that the body strength is lower at that uh, 14 action timer than at the 27 second action timer. Wood cutting. Excellent. We're cruising. Let's go ahead and examine the tree. 90. So this one should fell the tree. And let's hope. And one more second. Oh, there it goes. And the tree fell. Now, I want to take it and if you want to take the tree you can see it's I'm not strong enough to pick up the tree so I'm gonna to have to cut it down a little bit so let's go ahead and chop it up we're gonna click on the tree there's my little log can I pick it up now take nope still too big let's chop it up again the quality of the tree determines the quality of the logs, or at least the maximum quality that you can have of the logs. And that 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 will help with crafting, and we'll cover that in a later video. Can I pick it up now? Nope, still too big. Let's go one more. Now, picking up felled trees are important because you're going to have to use felled trees in order to craft different items. Can I pick it up now? Yep. Great, so now I have this tree that weighs 114 kilograms. The quality is 8, which sucks, but that's okay. And I'm overweight, which means my skill, my characteristic and body, my strength is not very high. But I can pick it up, and if I wanted to craft with it, I could. So let's go ahead and drop that in the ground, and we'll call this tutorial done. Um, this is the woodcutting tutorial. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment. Uh, otherwise, episode 3, we'll talk about leveling the dirt as we plan our house. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.